Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I am showing you how to do this funky rainbow dotted cure half moon. There's just a whole bunch of techniques going on in this manicure, which I'm going to show you today. This is what I was wearing during my rainbow makeup tutorial. I will put a link in the description so you guys can check that out. But anyway, yeah, so I figured I would try something funky and new, and I really like the way it turned out, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So for this manicure, I am using my Cuccio base coat, OPI Alpine Snow, China Glaze, Bottoms Up, That's Shore Bright, Boho Blues, Two Yacht to Handle, and Lime After Lime. I'm also going to be using my Cuccio 7 Second Top Coat, and yes, I owe you guys a review on that, and my OPI Matte Top Coat, which is my favorite matte top coat. Then I'm going to be using these What's Up Nails vinyls. They're circular. You can also use those hole punch reinforcers if you want to use those instead. So I'm starting off with my natural nail and applying my base coat. Once that's dry, I'm going to apply one coat of my white nail polish. So when you are using a nail vinyl or a sticker, it's really important to protect your base color, so you always want to apply a quick dry top coat. I'm going to be applying one after my white polish dries, and this is just going to keep it from peeling off when I peel off the sticker. And then I'm going to apply this circular little vinyl. I cut it in half just so I can save some extra ones. And then I'm going to go in with a dotting tool, and I'm just really quickly going to dot on half in one color, and then half in the other color. It doesn't matter if the dots are perfect, because you really just want to work as quickly as possible over the vinyl, and then peel it off before the polish dries. Now I can go back in with my dotting tool, and I can make the dots look a little bit nicer. And then I'm going to start to create my little dot cure gradient going down my nails. So right at the edge, that's where the biggest dots are going to be. And then as I go down, they're going to be a little bit more sparse and a little bit smaller. And I wanted to have a rainbowy sort of effect because I knew I was going to be doing some rainbow makeup, but I wanted it to be different from the usual, just like Roy G. Biv rainbow. So I figured I would go kind of backwards and with like purples and pinks and blues. So I'm just going in order the way I think it looks cool on my nails. And then once that is completely dry, I'm applying my top coat, and that's just to smooth everything out, and then I'm going to apply my matte top coat to remove the gloss. So that is it for this tutorial. I love the way this turned out. It was easy to do on both hands, and it just looks really fun. And for those of you guys who are curious about how I had it on my thumb, I ended up doing orange and yellow, which I didn't love because it didn't really match, so I would recommend doing pink and orange. That would look better. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe for more nail art. See you later.